Hi, I'm Steve Barrier with ProGrass. I'm here in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm here to see some green roofs. Uh, it's a great place to visit green roof installations if you're looking to get some more information on European styles and European techniques. Budapest is a great city. It's got a beautiful history and a lot of things to see while you're here. It's a great place to come if you're looking to do a vacation and at the same time learn about green roof and horticultural aspects of rooftop gardening. Yeah, some installations of some green roof systems from Diadem USA. Uh, we're here with Gabe and Paul Bazan, and Gabe is going to explain a little bit about how this roof is installed and the different layers and how they're in, how they're put together to make up the green roof system. So, what are we looking at here, Gabe? Yeah, well, we are staying right now in the single ply membrane. It's a TPU membrane that we have underneath uh, construction, the soil construction, like a trapezoid sheet. And it's then, metal, correct? It's a metal, yeah. And then we have uh, about four inch thermal insulation, polystyrene, and they covered it with a single ply membrane. And then we have a separation, because it's not advantageous if the polystyrene has a direct connection to the membrane, so it's separated and also has some kind of protection. And the next step, how to make a green roof, I mean, is the separation again, to avoid that the dirt comes between the junctions. Okay. Then we have a drainage board above it. Then we have the soil. So, and that's the standard build-up of the green roof in the inverted uh, technology, because that's called inverted technology. If I have the membrane underneath the thermal insulation. Okay. So, so before we get down to that drainage mat, this this uh, foam that goes on top of this, the point of this is to provide insulation. Yeah. Okay. And then the, this is water permeable, so moisture can get through these. So, so this actual layer here is what actually creates the waterproof membrane for That's the right. system. So, That's right. so this stops the water. This allows some moisture to get through. This blue layer of foam. The, the moisture gets through on this. Just, just, just to get through this. For sure, yeah. And then yeah. this is the insulation for the rooftop. So, so there's different layers, as you can see, that make up this green roof system. And as we walk down there, we'll look at the drainage mat that goes on top of this. And the drain mat is one of the more important things because that's what allows the moisture and, and water to flow underneath the soil. So let's We're looking at the drainage look mat system here. And one important consideration with drainage mats is that they have to almost be installed similar to a roof shingle where they overlap on the downhill. So as the water flows across this surface, it will overlap and go down to the next one without going under it. So, uh, so each side of the, of the angle of the rooftop, you'll change the way this is laying. So right now, we're going down that way, so it's overlapping on this side. So as, we, as, we, as the water progresses through the soil mix and goes down the rooftop, it'll end up going down to a drainage system at the lower end. The area with the orange pilings will be a berm that will be raised with airspace below to reduce weight on the rooftop. The caps will be covered with soil, so it will all blend in to give the roof an appearance of rising and lowering areas.